Hello, everybody, and welcome to the next episode of The Wendy Adams Show, where she loses the Boundary Beyond and then has to face the Heart of the Elders. As you can see, our things have changed a bit uh, in the decks with our Adaptable. Of course, we didn't get experience last episode because we absolutely biffed it. But luckily, we didn't get any Vengeance either, so I'm going to call that a win. All right, we have, as an action explorer, draw the top card of your exploration deck. If it is a connecting location, put into play and move to it. Uh, six stone pillars, we just need two clues. Just two clues. We're starting right here, which has an action to resign and check your supplies. If you have the compass, look at the top three cards of the exploration deck, place one on the bottom, and the other two on top in any order. Okay, well, action number one, we do get to start with one clue, which is nice. We are going to play a pickpocketing. And then action number two, we're gonna look at the top three cards because we do have the compass. We gotta look at the top three cards of this exploration deck. I'm probably gonna put ants on the bottom. <laughs> All right, so we are looking for neither of those symbols are what we want. We're looking for brown squiggle hourglass or the T. So we're going to put ants on the bottom. And then these two can go on top for action number three, for action number, sorry, so one, two, we're going to use a free explore to do this. Oh, look at that. Rope bridge is not what we're looking for. Heart is not what we're looking for. Lost in the Wilds is, uh, I suppose, what we're looking for. <laughs> it's a blunder. And what a blunder it is. Excuse me. All of you guys get back together. Give me a little shuffle. Okay. Test Brain 3. If you fail, take one horror for each point you fail by and add this to your threat area. All right. We are 4 to 3. Uh, that's all we can do. I mean, I'm not going to discard a card to do that. To... All right. So we have one action remaining... I am going to explore again. No. Low on supplies. I must either... Let's just get this back in here. So I must either lose two resources, take one damage. I'll just take one damage. We'll be at 6-6. Six, six. I like to keep my resources. Okay. So, we played pickpocketing. We did this, we explored for free, then we explored, and we have progressed nothing. It's great. Welcome to the jungle, baby. Cards and resources. Relic of Ages is sweet. It is sweet. All right, we're at one of five doom. Evil card for the turn is a basilisk. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 All right. Okay. Good. We'll fight this guy at seven to four. Dude, that's pretty sweet. All right. But now we got to get away from him. So free action, we're going to explore. No, it's not connected. Why would anything good happened to Wendy Adams in the jungle, am I right? All right, uh, we're testing four all. Minus three, if you fail, take one horror. I'm gonna discard this and play it to draw another token. So now we are five to four. So we failed by two, so we'll discard two cards at random from our hand. God dang ants. All right, action number two, we're going to explore again. No, oh, all right, there's just no point. Uh, is anything actually connected to my location? I guess fucking not, huh? Who designed this scenario? Oh my God. All right, what does this do? Uh, you must either attempt to tump I'll jump the gap. We're five to three. That's not bad. All right. We jump the gap. All right. My final action, because we evaded, explored, explored. One of those was free, by the way. 
No. No. Fucking uh, finally. <laughs> <laughs> on the plus side, I actually think our deck is empty, so all of our explorers from here on out are going to be peachy keen, fun, happy go time. All right, after you enter it, reveal a random coat from the bag. All right, I guess we're taking one horror? Nah, we're fine. Okay. Oh, I didn't do this. I would probably have chosen the resource at that moment. Okay. That's nice. And um, the resource we got is this one. And we were at two doom. Lost in the wild. So we're testing five to three. Minus three. We'll discard a card to draw another one. That's much better. Okay, so the problem is we don't have my lock picks, which makes investigating really hard until we can get an enemy. So I think we have to like kind of just keep exploring. So stone altar is after you enter it. Kind of fun, kind of spooky, right? Um, so action number one, for our free action, we're gonna draw a card. Scavenging is nice. Action number two, we're gonna play scavenging. A uh, free action. Free action we're going to explore. So we are looking for, I know those are in there, blue uh, triangle and heart. We can go to heart. Of uh, note, there is no clue here. <laughs> oh, good, 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 good. Okay. Oh no, there should be a clue here, but there isn't. Strange. If you have the compass. Okay, so we we um, drew a card. We played scavenging. We explored for free. We have one action left. I'm going to try to investigate. We have the compass, so we can just go at three to one. I'll take one horror, because F you, that's why. All right, uh, cards and resources. This guy, Snake Boy, is going here. Lockpicks is very nice. This is kind of what we need to get going. Uh, how much does he attack for? A oh, fucking lot is what you're saying. Okay. Uh, we go up to three. Evil card for the turn is Voice of the Jungle. If you not successfully explore this turn. Okay. So we have a lot of options here. And I think the correct first choice is play lockpicks. Uh, action number two, we're going to investigate at our location at five, eight to one. Played lockpicks. I can still explore with my free explore action, so we're just gonna do this. No, we're gonna draw another one. We're gonna draw another one. Much better. Okay, so we gain this clue. Um, we're going to scavenge and bring this back to our hand. And then for my free action, we're gonna explore. So there's a lot of connections, and Rope Bridge is one of them. Hmm. I guess when I put it here, it just borked all the clues. Do I have to advance when we get this? No, but what happens when I do again? Oh yeah, this guy. And then we got investigators. So we want to wait to do this. We're in no big rush, is what I'm learning. So we're not going to rush it then. This guy comes here. We're going to draw a card and a resource. 
We'll place a Doom on this, and there's two agendas. All right. Evil card is a Pit Viper. Hey, what's up, brother? Hope you're having a good one. Well, action number one. Oh, no, 45. Are you kidding me? Action number one, we're going to attempt to evade this guy at um, 8 to 3. Sick. I will draw a card and gain a resource. Test of Will is nice. Less good against this one where we have to play it over and over and over again. Uh, action number two, we're going to investigate our location at... Uh, it says two. Um, so we have eight to two. That's enough to return this to our hand. This should be... On a, I just am the worst at reading. I know there's a, the updated version that has it. There was a comment that someone said that. I need to get that version. I haven't updated yet. I will grab this clue, though. Okay. So we evaded. We picked this. So we'll attempt to explore at five to two. We're good. All right, what are we looking for? This guy have Hunter? Nah, he's just gonna stay there forever. Whoa, spinning exploration deck. Time racked wood, we can go to. Just a little bit of a slowdown. I'm gonna just say it, this is a long walk back. <laughs> it's a long walk back. Um, choose an elite card worth uh, Avengers points, victory to play, place that card in the encounter, discard pile, group limit once per game. Inter interesting. Um, so we evaded. We investigated, and then we explored for free. So we're going to draw a card for our last action. Uh, no, we're going to gain a resource for our last action. This guy stands up, and this Basilisk still just keeps slithering around for me. All right, draw cards, gain resources. That's cool. This advances. Uh, after exploring the rainforest for hours, you reach the top of a steep ridge. Uh, shove the encounter discard pile into the deck. I mean, I'll do that in a heartbeat. Uh, I choose one investigator to be the group's lookout. I must choose me. I check my supplies. If the lookout has binoculars. Oh, baby, you know I do. I wanted that to exper experience. Uh, we're going to need this again, so I'm just going to put that there. All right, so we got to do... We have do have to worry about start making our way back because we do want to progress and make some progress on this one, right? We can't just be out here forever. So, uh, action number one, we're going to investigate this location normally at five, seven to four. Minus one. So we will grab a clue here. Uh, we'll then use the lock picks to go... Actually, no, sorry. We're going to play Pete for action number two. Then we're going to attempt to pick, and we have five... So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine to four. Minus three is six, so we'll succeed by two to get both of those, so we're fine with that happening. So, action one. Action one was investigate. Action two was play Pete. Action three was investigate. We'll use our free explore, and we just don't want to get to the triangle. We actually would like to see red square. All right. Well, you know, beggars can't be choosers, right, kids? Okay. This goes here. This goes here. All right, enemy phase. This guy's going to come and give me the bonkus. 
And bonk as he does. I'm really confused. Is this Basilisk supposed to be in the deck? Uh, or is it just a way to get rid of them? I don't know. I'm going to I'm going to worry about that when we get there. Okay. Uh sorry, this should be now at 1. Okay. So we have 1 2 3 4. We should have 5 clues, right? So 1 2 3 Sorry, 1 2 3 4 and then one we got from our interlude. So that's nice. That is nice. And we need to get six. So right now we have three. Well, when in Rome, we're going to attempt to evade this basilisk. Stand up, everybody. Uh, we have six, nine to four. So that puts us up to the five, which is the worst we can get besides the bad one. We'll draw a card and gain a resource. Lie down, brother. Uh, we're going to attempt to pick a lock here. So we have uh, five, six, nine to four. A little bit of a slowdown. Let's click again. Nine to four. Minus two is seven, which is enough to not break a lock and also return this to our hand. And gain a clue. So that was action uh, one and two. So action three will be move here. And then we will take a horror, but then Pete, after our turn ends, will heal a horror for that a horror in the voice in the jungle. All right, cards and resources. This man will stand up, and then we will go to two. My evil card for the turn is a basilisk. Hello, sir. I hope you're having a good one. You're actually with me, technically. Hmm. All right, well, let's attempt to evade this man at nine to four. That's good enough for me. We will draw a card and gain a resource. Oh, no, no, no. I made a mistake, everybody. I made a mistake. I'm going to quickly just do this right now. What was it? Amnesia was the one? I don't have that in my deck. Forgot to add that. Yeah, so. That's a bit of a whoopsie on my part. I was just like, good thing we have, I was like, how many, we, we still have three weaknesses in our deck, but no, I did not add one. So I'm going to have to add that in between this one because we're not going to get this done here. Okay. Well, this guy's evaded. That was action one. Uh, action two, we move in here, and we have to reveal a token. I will lose one action. So that's my turn. So we'll take a horror and then heal the horror, and then this guy comes here. Okay, well, we just got to go, so that's what we're going to do. I do kind of want the victory here, but victory doesn't matter for these ones, I believe. Evil card is Pitfall. I'll attempt to jump the gap. I would like to discard a card to do that again. I am more than good. Okay, action number one. We move in here, and then let's spend this. Spend two clues. Uh, spawn. Cannot be defeated, cannot make attacks of opportunity. He's also m -m 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 massive. So, uh, action two and three, we're going to place two clues. On this location. Um, so. 
Uh, after a pillar token is placed, I can shuffle one copy. So this is a maxed once per round. So we'll just get rid of that guy for the time being. And then after a pillar token is placed, it does not exhaust it and it does not ready during the upkeep phase this round. Cool. Uh, we're gonna draw cards and gain resources. Snakey boy, one snakey boy moves there. We're at four of five. Our evil card is low on supplies. I'll lose two resources, not a problem. Uh, actions one and two, we're just gonna place two clues, two resources here. Which shuffles this guy back into the deck. See you later. Uh, and then action three, we're gonna resign. Uh, the hazard of the jungle are too dangerous for you to continue exploring. If you remain any longer, these odd pillars will mark your grave. You decide to flee for now, returning to a familiar clearing several miles away where you can recuperate. Uh, you, now, you know that you must eventually return to the pillars and figure out the pattern that will open the way forward, but for now, at least, you are safe. Um, in your, there are more than there were now before. We record that we now know four. Four paths are known. Beautiful. Reset this game to this scenario setup. Do not record anything else in your campaign log except for any trauma suffered from your previous game. No experience points are earned. Any investigator who was killed or driven insane must chew a new investigator to play as normal. They just show up. They appear out of the ether. Um, so I'm going to just pause this video, set up, and make sure there's an amnesia in my deck this time. My apologies for that one. See you right away. Okay, we are back. Uh, everything's set up. Everything's great. The Amnesia is now in my deck. I know because I saw it in my mulligan. Uh, I also have a moon, so we'll put that out to start, which means we start at five foot, which is really nice. The Basilisks are at four, which is really high. That is a big number. We don't have a scavenging. We do have a moonstone. We have pieces to get going. So, and we no longer have our expedition journal, which was really nice to have. Because that was in the interlude, as you see over here. Not part of the scenario setup. I don't know why I put my expedition journal away, knowing what was waiting for me, but that's just what we did. Uh, action number two. We're going to look at the top three cards of this deck. So... Okay, well, we're going to put ants on the bottom and then these two on top. I'm going to put actually just this one on top. <laughs> action number three, we're going to explore. Um, I mean, I also could just do that again. So let's do that again. Because then we could put pitfall to the bottom. Okay, uh, and to turn cards and resources, we're at one of five for that. Evil card is Voice of the Jungle. Hey, I think I've seen this movie before, but we don't have Pete to tank that for us. Action number one, uh, we're going to explore. So we are looking for one of those three symbols, squiggles, hourglass, or tea. We're lost in the wild. Test brain three, so we're gonna test four to three. I'm gonna discard Moonstone, playing it, to test that again. So now we're at five to three. All right, so we will fail by two, and we can no longer explore this turn. I mean, I didn't wanna do that anyway. Why play the game? Right? Why play the game? Uh, action number two, we're going to grab a resource and then we're going to test this at five to three. I'll discard a card to draw again. And we'll pass. Cool. Cards and resources. Told you it was here. <laughs> oh, all but one card from my hand. We're gonna keep the relic, probably. Probably.
probably. All right, evil card for the turn, even though this has been a really evil start. Oh, sorry, one second. No, we just go normal. Oh, good, we got a snake here. All right, well, let's attempt to evade this snake at five, six to three. All right, we'll attempt to evade the snake at six to three. All right, yeah, punk, get out of here. We'll then attempt to explore for our last action. I don't know what I expected, TBH. We're going to lose two resources. Now, we could take the damage. All right, get all that junk back in there. I mean, when you have only a 1 out of 10 chance of hitting some, 1 out of 11, and 4 of those cards are bad, you're going to see the bad cards. This one's so front-loaded, it's crazy, stupid, not fun, poo-poo, caca. Anyways. Uh, in retrospect, bring a map to this scenario. Uh, enemy stands up, we're going to get cards and resources. Track shoes is nice. Uh, we go to this. Evil card is Pitfall, six to three. We're golden. Uh, let's attempt to evade this guy at six to three. That's what we call g -g 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 golden. We're gonna attempt to ex we're gonna play track shoes. Then we're gonna attempt to explore. We'll get out of here eventually. Hey, the legends were true. You actually can escape this area. Okay. Uh, this guy stands up. And then we get cards and resources. We're at four. We're not doing... I mean, we only need four clues. Oh. God, we got to get out of here. Uh, I think we don't even spend the time to... We just explore. We got to get a path out of here. So what does this one connect to? It connects to Rope Bridge and Heart. All right, we're going to attempt to jump over the gap at 7 to 3. Minus 3 is good. We're going to attempt to explore again for action number 2. River Canyon is not connected. Ants are not connected as well. We have seven to four. I will discard this unexpected courage to draw again. Much better. All right, we will attempt to uh, freaking get out of here. Look at that, we've done it. Oh my God, this scenario freaking sucks. It's awful in solo. Okay. Cards and resources. I don't want to talk about it. These poisonous pores blow up. Okay, this advances, which means we shuffle this into that. And then... I choose one to be the group. I will choose myself. Nothing happens. Evil card is... Oh my god. What is this freaking scenario? And I still need one more clue to make any sort of progress. I mean, I'm sorry. I need one more clue revealed before I can make any sort of progress. Okay. Uh, action number one. Let's try to evade this guy at seven to three. So four, five, six, seven. Seven to four, sorry. Um, all right, you win this one. All right, oh my God, I'm gonna do it. So we have 10 minus four, so minus five. We succeed. Uh, we're going to investigate our location at 10 to one. Cool. <laughs> I am not a happy boy right now, I'll tell you that much.
Okay, cards and resources. Fudge crackers. We're at one. Evil card is. We cannot move or explore. Okay, we really want to pass this. We're at five to three. That is really wanting to pass it, so that's good. All right, let's evade this guy at seven to three. See you later, punk. Uh, let's attempt to explore our location. Uber Canyon is connected. And there should be one clue on it. Okay, so that was action one, two, and three. We're going to attempt to explore. We have 10 versus the game's four. We will grab that clue. Okay, I have a plan. It's not great. It's called Play Heart of the Elders Part 1 one more time realistically. I mean, we actually could be fine. No, because we need two, we essentially need three actions. Yeah, no, we're going to be playing this again. We're going to be doing it one more time. All right, this guy stands up. We get cards and resources. Hey, perfect timing. Burn. Evil card is snake bite. Test foot three. Seven to three. That's good. All right, action number one, we're going to move in here and attempt to kick flick, kick flip off this son of a gun. So we are seven to three. That's good. Move to a connecting location. Okay, this is a bit weird. Uh, action number two is we're going to explore. So it, uh, investigate a 10 to five. Okay, so we got the clue. And then oddly enough for action number three, no, because he'll come get us either way. We just don't want this guy to poison us. So I suppose we just draw a card. Hey. Cool. This guy's going to come and give us the bonkus. Ouch. We're up to three. I think. Oh my god. All right, we're going to evade this man at 7 to 3. We're going to make a 9 to 3. He's done. Sorry, 9 to 4, and then 7 to 4. No, no, sorry, 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 sorry. We don't want to evade this guy. Action number 2, we move in here, take 2 damage, and then we resign, making no fucking progress. Oh, my God. Uh, anyways, I think I'm going to end this video here and then finish Heart of the Elders Part 1 uh, next week. So we'll see you guys then. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good one, and as always, GG's.